welcome to How to Grow Garden. I am Scarlett. Today, I am over at my mother's working on a greenhouse that we built for her this spring. So back in April, I took what used to be an old turkey shed and we cut a giant hole in the front and we built a 12 by 12, um, greenhouse onto the front. Now this is kind of like a potting greenhouse because it's not entirely glass. You can see that the top only has less on the bottom and I'll take you in there a minute and show you. Um, today I've come back because I want to do the fall slash early winter cleanup. So essentially I want to put my greenhouse to bed. Now at the new property um, over on our homestead we haven't built a greenhouse yet and I was talking to Bo about this this morning. He says there's no point in cleaning it up because we're not going to use it anymore but it's still on my parents' property and there's a slight chance that they might use it. So I feel obligated to take care of it, to put it to bed, to clean it up and have it all nice and fresh and ready for next year. And it's going to get roofing on it eventually. We do have the roofing. I actually just pulled it behind, uh, behind the little greenhouse just a few minutes ago to get it out of the way. Uh, part of cleaning up the greenhouse is also cleaning up the garden. I wanna take in the glass covers on some of the raised beds. Um, I might want to take out some of the plants, maybe even turn them over. This particular garden I left really long. Um, I also left it so that the deer that come down through the hills, we've got deer everywhere here, they will come and they'll eat all the remaining uh, plants. And I think that's really nice to give back to nature. Now, um, uh, that being said, um, I don't want to feed the deer all the time, <laughs> just at the end of the year. Um, I, I, it's nice, they're taking it away, they're doing a little cleanup and hopefully they're fertilizing the ground around the area, so that's okay. So this garden was kind of more of an experiment. Um, we're up on a hill, so I built 19 raised beds in the spring, and that was my main focus. Um, I started the, the greens pretty much when I got off the plane, so we arrived at the end of December last year, and I started doing um, the seedlings in January, and in the house, of course. There's lots and lots of lights, and then, um, by June, we were able to plant out. Now we are in zone 5B here, so it's uh, the last frost is much later. And these are things I'm gonna have to work around, right? Like it's a really big difference from where we were over in Germany, in Northern Germany, uh, we were in zone seven to where we are here. Um, it's, it's gonna be a quite a learning experience. So my objective was for February, March, April, and May were to build these raised beds and to fill them. We filled them with uh, straw, with uh, compost, with soil, with lots and lots of leaves, um, things that were here on the property. Um, and we built them using slab. Now slab is the outer bark. It's the, the first cut of the, in this case it's cedar slab, so the first cut of the cedar tree. So when they take a round tree and they make a square, they cut off those four parts and we used that. And I think it was $10 a load. And a load is like this kind of ooh, huge amount. So what would fit in the back of a pickup truck would be about a load for, for 10 bucks, which is awesome. So right now, it of course, it has bark on it from the outer part of the tree, but over time that bark will break down and fall off and then you'll just have uh, the wood itself on the raised beds. But because they're cedar, they will last a long, long time. Now this is white cedar, so it doesn't smell like red cedar, unfortunately, but it does have the benefits um, being that it is cedar, white or red. Uh, it um, repels bugs, uh, nobody really likes to eat in it, and it, it, it takes a very long time to break down. So I don't have to worry about uh, if it's pressure treated or if it's not pressure treated or how long it will last or what the water will do on the inside or the soil touching the wood. Those are not a problem because I chose cedar. So let's go on into the greenhouse. Now it does need the top, like I said, and other than that, it's pretty much done. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and talk to you about how we built it and what it looks like. So a little bit about it. So like I said, this used to be the old turkey shed, uh, or the turkey house. It, it was here and then we just cut a nice big square in it. Uh, we were planning on doing a lot more work, but you know, life got in the way. Um, we've got the homestead to do, so this will take a very, very, very back seat. And it works really well as it is. Uh, so having trim and such things doesn't seem so important. Uh, we did put in a new floor. 
and new hardware. I put up some hooks. Uh, some of these things are coming down. I'm going to take a few of these things down today and take them over to the barn. Uh, Russell at the homestead needs uh, new places to put his stuff. Um, we put in, oh, I brought in some chairs. This was quite the pro project. These guys are crazy heavy, and I originally found them on Kijiji, which is the Canadian equivalent to Craigslist. Um, they both are recliners, and they felt really comfortable to have something like this in the greenhouse because I love to read. Um, and in fact, later I'm actually going to do a review on a few books for you guys. So maybe I will do that in here. So this is the greenhouse part. Um, it's got the four big windows plus the three on the front and the three on the top. Now the reason why I didn't want windows here is because I wanted to use it more like a potty shed and I wanted to use it all summer long. So if it got super, super hot in here, um, I would have real issues, right? So if that, if the, if the whole thing was glass, uh, we wouldn't have any shade. So this way, the potting part stays nice and cool and the greenhouse part stays warm, but it never got super crazy hot. So this is a really great place to start seedlings. So that's really awesome. I'm really happy about that. So what I wanted to do today, um, and I'm not sure I even really feel like doing it now. <laughs> uh, you can see that the last time I was here, I made quite a mess and I was kind of coming and going. Um, it, was all, it was all a little fast. So what I wanted to do today is just sweep down, take away the soil, empty out these, these trays, um, toss all of these, the, the dead plants onto the compost, empty out this pot, um, and maybe give the whole place just a general dusting and possibly sweep out the floor. I'll have to find my bigger broom for that. Now, cleaning out your greenhouse is not something you have to do. I could, I could I could leave it. I could just leave it as a giant mess and come back in the spring and then clean it. But to me, it makes it's a nice thing to do in the fall. And in the spring, I'm going to have a lot of other things to do. Like I'm going to want to come in here with my greens, with my baby seedlings and my starts. And I'm going to want to get going. Also, if I take everything away and I tidy it all up, I won't have mice deciding to move in. I make sure there's no seeds or anything left over, um, nothing here that the, the that would attract animals or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. and they're called nano domes. They are awesome. They work really, really well. They're not exactly cheap, they're about 10 bucks each. Um, and I have quite a few. In fact, I pretty much got off the plane and started collecting uh, gardening supplies. But, um, but they're definitely worth it. They, uh, I, I do not have to water very often, which is really nice. So I only have to come out here and give it a good water about once a week. And because the dome is so um, so big, and I just close the tops a little bit or give it very little ventilation, um, it keeps the water going and it just turns it over and it's wonderful. So I didn't have to worry about coming every day to water because as you can see, the house is really far away and I was not here all the time. Um, not that much at all. So I really didn't have much more time than to be able to come over for one, um, one day, one, one afternoon a week and, and water some of this plant. Um, but that being said, they still did really well. No. Now another reason to get rid of everything and clean it out is because if there's soil in here and there's still some water in the bottom of the soil in the bottom of the tray, and then uh, it freezes, the trays can crack. 
and if I'm going to have plastic, I'm going to take good care of it. Uh, I definitely don't want to buy more. November and these guys are still moist and quite frozen and if I didn't come and do this, this this tray would definitely crack and so would these little pots. I can't even get to that anymore. Nope. That pot's not lasting. Party time. So this one I think I will leave in one of the little trays and I'll just let it hibernate a little bit. So hard. Um, I put the sheets, the old sheets I've collected to cover the beds for fall into a box. Um, I put all the, the pots and the organic pots into a few containers, into also some wooden boxes that my husband built me. Uh, make sure that your water watering jug is empty. You don't want that to split. Um, I do have a plant, a single plant inside here, uh, but there's what, four covers on here, so it's just in as well. We'll see if it actually survives the cold weather here. I have uh, dusted the whole thing off. I've got the rest of these all dusted out. These are my little greenhouses. This one is empty. Um, and a few other tools like um, the blocker, which I'm gonna do a video on later and show you guys how that works and some tools all laid out here. And I raked the bottom, raked the floor and got rid of all this stuff. So, um, all I have to do now is sweep out the potting side of this little greenhouse and maybe fluff up the pillows a bit, take some books away, and then go out and lock the door and it'll be all beautiful and ready to go when I come back early in spring and bring in the new seeds and start over. Thanks for watching, I'm Scarlett and this was uh, closing up the greenhouse for winter. Toodaloo.